Hey guys, we've been playing with Meshroom, which is a free open source software for capturing uh, or converting pictures into 3D models that you can use in Blender, or you can bring them into like Unity or Unreal Engine for game development. So what we did, we took pictures um, from lots of different angles of this like stool that has kind of a lot of texture to it. And, uh, and then we brought all those pictures into this uh, open source program called Meshroom. Meshroom is sort of a tool that goes hand in hand with, with a 3D program like Blender. First you bring in your images and then process it, and it creates a model for you that you can then import into Blender and clean up. And then from there you could even, you know, like I mentioned, bring it into another game program like Unity or Unreal Engine, or you could even just use it um, as, a, as a model, you know, use it as an asset in like a 3D uh, rendering of an architectural building or something, lots of different options. Um, the program is a little bit difficult to use, and in this video I'm just going to quickly show you the process. It's not really a tutorial. The first thing we did was went through the images and made sure we had all the good images selected. Some of them are blurry or just not ideal um, candidates, so we, we chose all of the good pictures. Uh, and then we process that, and it creates this 3D cloud. Uh, and so this cloud shows different points. It's really cool because you can see all of these different um, cameras, uh, camera angles that it just detected based off of the, after, after analyzing this image, it recognized parts of the image that were the same. And it, it says, well, we think the camera was, you know, a little bit to the right this time when it took the picture. So it shows you where all your pictures are. Um, and then we can choose in here where we're going to, what part of the picture we want to keep. Because there's a lot of data like off in the wall, some objects in the distance that we don't want to keep. So we draw a cube that just shows what part of the image we want to keep. Um, there's lots of different options here. And actually my brother Corey is the one that went through this. So I don't even understand it all. I'm sure he doesn't either. Um, there, there's definitely a learning curve to this software. But to achieve a basic result like we did, we messed around with it for a couple of hours and we're able to come up with something that we're, we're pretty happy with. So here's just the mesh, what it looks like without any texture applied to it. And like I said, we cut out a lot of the, the junk in the background, so it's just sitting here on a relatively flat plane. Um, and there's more options that you can do before processing it also. And the final node in the process is this texturing node. And so it uses data from the images, from the pictures as well, uh, to create a texture. And then it maps the texture, the texture in the correct spot on top of the image. Um, really, really cool. The whole process, depending on how many images you have and the quality of your images, it's actually better to not have really large file size images because it takes much, much, much longer. So you kind of need to find a sweet spot. Um, but it was, we're really happy with the way it turned out. Um, and it, our model looks really good. And it's it's quite large, you know, quite detailed for just a, a step stool. Uh, but it was really fun. So that's Meshroom. Hopefully this has kind of piqued your interest. There's lots of good tutorials on uh, online for learning how to use this and achieving this result similar to what we did. Maybe in the future we'll do some in-depth tutorials or show the process of moving this over uh, to Blender and doing something um, useful with this model. But thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below. And uh, look forward to catching you in the next video.